meditation is medicine for the mind. We have our diseases, greed, aversion, delusion, and there's only one medicine for them, which is the, the Dharma. We practice generosity to put a curb on our greed. We practice the precepts to put a curb on our greed and on our aversion. And we practice meditation to get rid of our delusion. Without these practices, these things take over, because we tend to see them as good. In other words, things we're passionate for, we think that we really are worth our passion, and that passion is what gives spice to life. Sometimes we think that getting angry gives spice to life, too. But at the very least, we think that the things we're angry about really deserve to be angry about. As for delusion, we don't even know it's there, but we like it. It's familiar. So we need the Buddhist teachings to push against these tendencies in the mind. It's going to go against the things that the mind likes, likes doing. Even when you don't like the fact that you're too angry, still there's something in the mind that says, go, go for it. These are the things we have to counteract. So the practice is going to go against the grain. And in the course of doing the practice, we're going to find out a lot of things in the mind that we really like, that we didn't think we liked, are going to have to be let go of. Which is why it's good to have a vision of health in mind. There was a wanderer one time came to the Buddha and talked about how Nirvana was the greatest health, and he said, well, that's this body. When the body is healthy, that's Nirvana. And the Buddha said, no, you're totally deluded. Nirvana is a state of mind that doesn't need greed, aversion, and delusion. It's free from these things. We have to learn how to see that as good. You see the ravages of greed, aversion, and delusion in other people. Remind yourself, okay, those things are happening to you as well. The Buddha wants you to basically rub your nose and the bad results of these things, so that you be motivated to give them up. So allow yourself to imagine that you can get past these things, and that it's really worthwhile. This act of the imagination is an important part of the practice. People sometimes think that meditation is a science of the mind, where you're just watching what's going on, and when you see the truth about the mind, you just let go. It doesn't work that way. You have to build qualities in the mind, and to build the qualities requires that you be motivated. And the motivation requires that you have some imagination, that there is something better than the way things are right now. So allow yourself that act of imagination and allow it to motivate you. Because as the Buddha said, it really is a possibility. Total end of greed, aversion, and delusion, passion, aversion, and delusion. And he says, if you don't see that as a good thing, you've got to change your opinions. Because otherwise, there's no way out. And the people who get out are always so glad that they got out. Keep that in mind. So when you're tempted to go for something that you know is unskillful but you like, remind yourself of the people who found finally that they could get past that, and how happy they are, and that you can have a share of that happiness too. <laughs>